Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a safari guide. I'm going to take three fingers in the center and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, go back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, over, and connect on the right. Right about here on the left I draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. On the left hand side I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. On the right hand side I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. Starting on the left I'm going to draw a big curve line out, and connect on the left. Come on the right hand side, I'm going to draw another big curve line out, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to mimic that line. I'm just going to draw another curve line, keep going, keep going, all the way towards the right, bring it down, over, and connect. I'm going to put little straight lines on the inside section of that big curved line that I just drew going from left all the way to right. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to come right back up to my dot and I'm going to draw a little flat circle. And inside this space I'm going to put some dots. All the way over, keep going, keep going, keep going. I come down to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect on the right. Come back to the left, I'm going to draw a curve line out and down on the left, curve line out and down on the right. I come right here in the center and I draw a curve line up, connect on the left, curve line up, connect on the right. In the center I draw one straight line on the left and one straight line on the right. I come on the left hand side and I draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect on the left, straight line out, straight line down, connect on the right. Now I'm going to draw buttons. So I go baby circle, dot, dot, straight line on the left, baby circle, dot, dot, straight line on the right. Baby circle, dot, dot, straight line on the left. Baby circle, dot, dot, straight line on the right. And right here in the center I'm going to put baby circle, dot, dot, straight line. And you can add more if you have room. Now I come back up here to the center and I'm going to just draw a curve line. On the left hand side I put one dot, right hand side I put another dot, left side curve line, right side curve line. Now I come back to the middle and I draw a curve line out, wavy, 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 wavy line up. And on the right side I draw a curve line out, wavy, wavy, wavy line up, connect. I come right here on the left and I draw a wavy, wavy line down on the left and a wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the right. Okay, now we're ready to color. Okay, this section is important because this shows the inside of his pith helmet. So I'm going to color that black. Then I'm going to get my brown and I'm going to color his mustache and his hair brown. Then, if you have tan, which I found in my crayon box, you're going to color his hat, his pith helmet, this rim all the way around, and his uniform, buttons included. This should all be tan. If 
you don't have tan, just use your brown crayon lightly. Okay? Now, if you have peach or apricot, you can color in his face, his ears, his necks, so it doesn't look so white. If you don't have that color, I would go ahead and just use my light brown. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Here's my safari guide, all colored in, ready for an adventure or exploration in the jungle or maybe even the Amazon. Okay, bye-bye.